a young boy growing up in a time of segregation, a devout Baptist minister who sought to turn the other cheek, a dreamer moved by destiny into leadership of the modern civil rights movement. This was Martin Luther King, Jr. Dr. King combated segregation and racism still prevalent in America in the mid 20th century, insisting always on nonviolent methods to achieve his goals. He soon became a national icon of progressive American ideals. In Washington, D.C., on the National Mall, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial is a fitting tribute to Dr. King's leadership in the civil rights movement. Dr. King's drive to move America toward the ideals of freedom and equality culminated in the 1963 March on Washington. From the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, Dr. King imagined an end to racial inequality in his I Have a Dream speech, a speech held as one of the greatest pieces of American oratory ever to be spoken. I have a dream, he said, that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Heavily influenced by Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation and Thomas Jefferson's declaration that all men were created equal, Martin Luther King Jr. gave the nation a vision for unparalleled liberty and equality. The design of the monument is taken from Dr. King's very words, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. To visit this monument means to literally pass through the mountain of despair on the way to the Stone of Hope, where Martin Luther King Jr. stands as a beacon. Nearby, excerpts from his sermons and speeches are featured on the 450-foot inscription wall. At the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site in Atlanta, Georgia, you can visit the home of his birth and where he played as a child. You can walk in his footsteps and hear his voice in the church where he moved hearts and minds. You can marvel at how he was an instrument for social change, and you can visit the tomb where this great man was laid to rest. On April 4, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. But his immortal words have carried on.